Well, welcome back. Uh, we're just finishing up this model here. We're ready to do some weathering. I teased that in the last video. And I'm going to show you some of the techniques that I use. Um, there's a lot of different ways to skin a cat, a lot of different ways to do some of the same things I'm doing. These are just the ways I do it, and I'm going to uh, show you how I do it um, using some different techniques. Some of them you may have heard of, some of them maybe you haven't. But anyway, let's get started. We're bringing it in a little closer here on just a couple of things. The first first way I'm going to show you is uh, just by using some of these little weathering uh, kits or powders. Uh, this is by Tamiya. Uh, they come in different uh, colors and different shades and everything. And then kind of like a little make makeup applicator brush, which actually that's I use those kind of things. Um, some of them come in different shapes, are kind of handy. And as you can see here, we have... Uh, a kind of a rust color, rusty red, kind of a, um, I guess you call it kind of gun or steel, gun metal or steel, and then a real like silver kind of can be like aluminum. Well anyway, what I do have is, is like these brake canisters here and the backing plates. Now on this model, these backing plates are pretty simple. They're going to go, um, they'll install, oops, that's the wrong one. Well anyway, something like this um, on there and then uh, the wheel will cover up this side, but you'll see the back side uh, when you look down through the frame. And I already did one here, or two of them here, and uh, it's, if you kind of look, see there's a little, I put a little rusting, and I paid real close attention to um, how this is gonna be, see, from this side it's gonna be, this is gonna be down. So anyway, uh, you know, the back backing plate of the brakes you know always get kind of rusty well you don't want to just make them red because that won't look realistic so you want to leave a little bit of the uh, black um, or whatever your base color is so I just kind of rubbed over there I'll probably do a little bit more here and then a little bit right here because it's gonna rust here but then if you kind of look underneath here it might be kind of hard to see is uh, the uh, uh, silver I used the silver and just brushed it along a little bit because since this hangs down and as um, this gets driven on gravel roads and in and out of cornfields and stuff and corn stalks are going to be rubbing along this and, uh, and on the real thing the the paint and the metal is nice and shiny because um, because of driving through that uh, corn stalks and fields and things and it rocks it and it, it uh, shines it up but on top it's not the paint will be will still be there and uh, maybe there's just some surface rust from some grime and things um, I just started doing that, but uh, those two I have pretty much like I wanted. These, uh, these are uh, the other side, and uh, as you can see, I just did them flat black, and I'm just using flat black primer. Uh, you know, obviously, if you're going for a different color or or something like that, you'd use the color you want. But uh, flat black is what I want because most of these are generally flat black. Um, so anyway, just kind of pretty easy. Just load it up a little bit and then um, and then just kind of rub it rub it in places along the edge I like to just kind of highlight the edges because then it then it just makes it stand out um, like I said you don't want to kill all your dark with your light this is just for highlighting we're gonna do a little bit on there on top of there like I say you're telling a story when you're doing kind of some of this stuff and you gotta you have to kind of know what the story is uh, Let's do their outer ring of this. Cause those... All right, I mean, I think uh, you maybe get the idea here, if you can see it, that you, we're just highlighting things and um, just to kind of bring out some, some details in the casting. So we'll do the other one here. But there we go, I like that. I mean, just that quick, we just kind of highlighted that up. And here's uh, the rear end and suspension and things, which, which will mount to the frame. I got that over in the paint booth. And we're going to do some of that, the same kind of weathering techniques here, because we're going to, we're going to want to, this, this is the bottom, and so we're going to want to put some of those silver streaks and everything uh, just on the lower more portions here where, where the corn stalks or wheat stubble and such would rub rub the paint off naturally and then in the little nooks and crannies we're going to want to put a little bit of rusting and we're going to, we, I'm almost going to exclusively use this for that kind of work uh, then I'll go along and then put in dirt in here I'll show you that later and as you can see I've, I've just added I've just 
been working on it, rubbing things on. See, there's some of the shiny spots. I mean, we're going to add some more uh, dust and dirt, but I just wanted to get kind of a base layer, see how, how it kind of looks. And uh, as you can see, you know, it, it highlights all the little details that are cast into these things. And when it's all put together, it's going to look a lot more realistic. And uh, that's kind of the effect we're going for. So, uh, we'll be on to getting this thing dirtied up. I know it doesn't look like I'm putting much in there, but but you can kind of see. And, I, and I'm going to go back over with some darker spots, uh, darker earth colors as well. And we're just going to put put dust in in where it needs to be. So I'm going to do that, and I'll catch you back later. Well, I wanted to uh, bring up the frame here and uh, show you a way to do this uh, in case you didn't have a, uh, an airbrush, you know, to... To, to put a little bit of dirt on there, or dirty colors, I guess, onto the frame. Now you can do this a couple other ways, and like I said, uh, we'll do some of those rubbing powders with some rust on there, but I also want to show you, you can do this with a good old rattle can. I got, I mean, these are just things I have laying around, colors, and see, they're kind of dirt, dirt kind of colors. And now this is less pre precise, but stay way back, and you can spray it, uh, kind of missed it. Now you, now you can't have a lot of control, but you're just kind of letting the letting the uh, color lay where it where it stays. I mean, I'm I mean, I am a good good distance away here because I don't want I want a real dry mist of paint. So there's kind of a lighter color. Now let's go to a kind of a little bit of a reddish color and. See what that looks like. Oh yeah. Now it's probably hard to see at that distance what we're actually doing here, but we're. And I really kind of like this. I mean, even though I have the airbrush, I even do this. And but you got you got to really sneak up on it. Just spritz here and there. Okay, well we got the frame uh, sub-assembly in uh, and finished and we got it pretty much weathered. I mean I might add a little bit later but as you can kind of see we added um, some dust and dirt there. Um, let me flip it over here and you can kind of see we got uh, you know the wear on the bottom here and then dust and dirt that that would be underneath there. And then another little trick I did here, I used uh, kind of like the graphite trick with a really watery solution of gloss black and some grays and things. And I even put a little bit of an earth tone in there. And you can kind of see on the U-joints I added uh, some grease that has been uh, spewing out and uh, flinging around. I uh, got a bunch of grease that's flung up on that cross member there from maybe over grease in that U-joint uh, there. Um, like I said, this is pretty much done as far as weathering goes because um, I'm not making this frame real rusty because this truck is is, pretty, is fairly still fairly new and, and uh, not as worn out and uh, as road worn, I should say, as uh, the other one. Uh, but anyway, you can kind of see all the little details that just, just, just a little bit of shading, just a little bit of contrast puts on there. 
Uh, what it does, it, it adds to uh, adds to everything. You know, the, the little uh, casting details, all those little bolt heads really kind of stand out. You know, you want to kind of keep it as random as you can. But uh, I'm really happy with how this is turning out. And, uh, you know, we'll be on to the next video and you'll see, uh, see more progress on it. Because, like I said, we're going to do similar uh, techniques to uh, put some dust on the hood here and in these little creases where it would lay. You know, because you wouldn't want this pickup, or pick up, this uh, semi, you wouldn't uh, wash, you know, all that much. Uh, just because being on the farm, it's just going to get dirty and dusty. And uh, that's how it looks when it's uh, running out in the field when you're actually using it. There's dust and dirt on the hood, and that's what we're trying to replicate. So, as we uh, finish up this project, I would like to thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next one and the finish up of this. So, uh, like the Facebook page, check out the website. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and thanks for watching.